Hello, this is Donald Bakar, and in this video I'll fully show you what you need to do to be able to sell your Pi coin. The first thing is to go to your Pi network mobile application and open it. So once you get to the home page, if the home page is similar to mine, just click on the main net checklist. Otherwise, go to the hamburger menu or icon, click on it and go to the main net. On this page, go to the main net checklist and click it. Now here is a checklist of things you need to do before your transferable balance can be marketed to the main net where you will be able to transact with it later on so in your own case yours might be a bit different you might have some unchecked red, uh, red check boxes so those unchecked red boxes are areas you need to take actions on so the number one here is to download my browser app so to do that, just go to the Play Store application and search for Pi Browser. So when you see it, install it. So when you install it, the next thing to do is to sign into the Pi Browser from your Pi Network application. Go to this hamburger menu again or icon again and click on Pi Browser. On this page, you click on the sign in to Pi Browser and it will open. You click on the Chrome and it automatically directs you to the Pi Browser that you've installed on your phone. So on the Pi browser, you will see uh, numbers of applications that you can make use of. So we'll be coming back to this in a few seconds. Now, let's go back to the Pi browser or Pi network rather. So I'll go back to the main network list. So the next thing is to create a Pi wallet. To create the Pi wallet, you will go to the Pi browser and click wallet.py. So if you've not created one, you can create it from here. But if you created and you want to you want to connect or you want to confirm your Pi wallet, then all you need to do is to paste or type in your password or lock it with your fingerprint if you have activated already. So when you do so, so for example now if I unlock it with my fingerprint, it will take me there. So by doing so, it will automatically confirm my wallet so the next thing is to commit to lockup configuration so to do so you just click on the commit that uh, link and uh, here you have two things you need to do you need to set the uh, lockup percentage and the next thing is to lock uh, is lockup duration the lockup percentage is just a portion of a pi coin you want to lock up and the duration that is the second one is the duration uh that you want it to last long before it's being released to you so then you can just commit now i've already done mine to so your own page not done before might be a bit different from mine so the next thing to do after you lock up is to submit your kyc if you've not done that the kyc is not rolled out at once so it is rolled out gradually to set a small group of people so if when it's your turn you'll be invited to come and apply for your KYC. So when you are eligible and they invite you, all you need is just submit your ID and they will capture your face, your liveliness to show that you are the owner of the account. So once you've done that, you submit it, you wait for your KYC results. It can either be cancelled, it can be or pending and also it can also be approved. So just ensure your KYC is approved. Once it's approved, then all that is left is to is the migration of your balance to the mainnet. So this will be done automatically. Your account will actually be uh, automatically queued up for migration. So and that could take up to two weeks or so. So once that happens, you will now have access to your to your uh, buy coin from your mainnet here. So here you can switch from test net. This is not live. I can't use it for anything, but here the prime main net is where the real deal happens, where you can receive and send us like your contemporary uh, wallet. So now, and mind you, once everything has been done, the checklist, everything has been completed, and your balance, transfer balance, has been migrated to the main net. You see it right here so when you see your pi coin your balance here on the uh, main net 
or the mainnet wallet then you can now send it to whosoever you want to transact with either you want to exchange it for money you want to exchange it with goods or you want to exchange it with services so that is exactly how and what you need to do to be able to transact with your buy coin so that's all for this video i urge you to kindly like share and follow me for more videos